Hey everybody, it's Matt from Uppercut Woodworks and you are? Hayden Ruth Gabo. Hayden Ruth, that's right. And what week is it? It's Get Woodworking Week. What is it? Get Woodworking Week. That's right, it's Get Woodworking Week. So, um, I was down at Woodcraft in Seattle a week ago and I picked up a project I thought would be a great project for um, kids to do for Get Woodworking Week and so I thought Hayden and I would do it. Um, it's in this bag here. Hayden hasn't seen it yet, so we're going to show it to her live on camera. So this is the first thing, first time you've ever going to see it. So do you know what that is? Uh, no. It's one of those bug barns where when you catch bugs, you can put them in there. Oh! Yeah, so we're going to build this today. Do you want to build this? Yeah! Yeah, so this was a great little kit I saw at Woodcraft. It was uh, $16. Um, and it comes with everything you need to put this together. So we're going to, uh, in celebration of Get Woodworking Week, we're going to turn Hayden, who's not even five yet, into a little woodworker. And uh, we're going to unbox this and get working on it. And then um, we'll, we'll tell you how things go. So Hayden, here's what we're going to do. First, we're going to take everything out of the box. Sure. Okay? You're in front of the camera. Everybody's going to see you talking weird. No, that's exactly what we want. We want everybody to see me talking weird. Um, no, everybody will make fun of the video. No, I don't think they're really going to make fun of it, Hayden. So, All right, so it looks like everything that we need is in here. Yeah. And I'm just going to get everything out of the plastic. There's a thing of instructions in here. And all the wood we need is in here. And it looks like even all the wood. Okay, let me help. Let me help. Okay, why don't you take all the plastic off then? But don't open the little bags of screws and things like that. We're going to need those. This might be a little bit more involved than I thought. Then I'm going to get these two pieces of wood out and the other pieces. Daddy, look, there's a little bag. Yeah. Daddy, Daddy. So it looks like everything's already cut to size and the holes are pre-drilled and all the dados and rabbits are in here already. Um, so this should literally be um, a assembly job. Um, I'm sure we could sand it and paint it or decorate it, but <clears throat> we're not going to do that tonight. We just want to evaluate with this $16 we don't, kit. We don't want to um, stay up late for the No, night. no, we don't want to stay up too late because you have the sniffles, right? Yeah, see? I have the sniffles. And we just watched the big game, right? Yeah, let me help, let me help. Take that plastic right off that side, would you please? I'm fine. Can you help getting it started, maybe? No. There you go. So these are cool little clear windows that come pre-cut, so you can actually look in there um, and see your bugs. I, I, oh, it, it even comes with a little little piece of sandpaper. That's kind of cool. Yeah, no, let me try. Well, here's what we're going to do. Before we do anything... <gasps> no, you're supposed to do that. Yeah. Before you do that, we're going to do... You remember Bompa, Hayden? We're going to do what Grandpa used to always say, Grandpa Olsen used to say, where you read all the instructions. You read all the steps before you do the first step. Um, pull back long hair. So they've got a little safety section in here. Pull back long hair, wear a short sleeve shirt or rolled up sleeves. Wear a tool belt to hold screws, nails, and small tools. Good job. Wear closed work shoes. you got closed work shoes on. Yep. Um, it didn't come with glue, but it looks like we're going to need glue. That's not a problem. We've got glue. Ooh, estimated time is an hour. Hayden's toolbox. Let's woodworking. What week is it? Woodworking week. That's right. Okay. So this, honey, this is the bottom, okay? And this is one of the ends. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the end on it just like that. We put all of our little parts in this cup. There's okay. Yep, yeah, that's the knob for the door. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put this on Daddy, here. Daddy, can I get the knob out? No, no, no. Well, you know what I need you to do? We need to get two of these ready. And then we need to make sure that this Lutz has got the right size here. It's pretty small. These screws look horrible, by the way. Okay? Like the most horrible cheap screws in the world. You're making the camera worser. I'm making the camera worser? No. You're embarrassing everybody. I'm embarrassing everybody, okay. Alright, so if you will get the have those. Can you hold this? 
So I'm gonna squirt glue on this edge and then I need you to paint it perfectly, okay? Okay, so all you do, honey, is you go Nice and light, not too heavy, just nice and light. That's really good, actually. Now, can you do that end a little bit where that glue came off? That's perfect. Here, I'm gonna put a little bit more right there. Now, we grab one of those screws. And can you put it in one of those holes, please? And push it all the way in the, as far as it'll go. Okay, put the other one in the other hole. Okay, now I'm gonna get these started, but you need to finish them, okay? Kind of a weird deal because you're going into the end grain here, and you're going to end grain to face grain, but it's a bug bar, and it's not. No, it's not an animal bar. It's not an animal bar, and that's right. Going up. Yeah, you're doing that right. You're doing it righty tighty. That's perfect. Just make sure you. No, no, no. Put your hand on there. I'm not turning it. You turn it. I'm just going to hold it for you. Tell me when your hands get tired and you want me to turn it. My hands are getting really tired. Hey, look at that. We got one end on. Is that good or what? Yeah. All right, so the next step is to put these struts across here. <clears throat> and then when those are on, we'll slide in these panels and that end panel will go on. So I don't think this is going to take anywhere <clears throat> near an hour, but that might be famous last words. We got, we do have a, it is a four-year-old in the woodshop day. Yeah, you're five. You're basically five, right? You're going to be five in, next month. Oh, this screw actually is completely defective and will never work. The um, head of this screw isn't stamped right. It won't take a screw, screwdriver. So hopefully they gave us some extra screws. If not, hopefully I've got something that'll work. Yeah, the screw was, these screws are pretty bad. It wouldn't be that hard though if you, if you bought one of these to uh, just use it as a template to make, you know, a bunch of them. If you, I got um, nine nieces and nephews. Some of them are older, they wouldn't be interested in this stuff, but the younger ones, you could, I could just make this a big kit. This one will go like it that? It does, but, it, but we flip it over. Oh yeah, and this is the door. That's the door. So to hold this all together for now, honey, let's just put this big rubber band on here. Yep, so here's what we're gonna do now. No, Daddy, that's so cool. That's a knob, yeah, so like a doorknob, right? Yeah, make it... Everything seems to be lining up okay. Yeah, but we're gonna need some bug food so we can live there. So, so just, like, just like we did a second ago where we glued this onto the other side, I'm gonna put glue, here, you need to take this. Okay, I'm gonna put glue here, here, and here, and you're gonna need to, um, do your magic with your brush there to clean it up, okay? Spread it out really good. Here, let me just set it down so it's easier for you. Do you like me? Do I like you? No, do you like my painting? I like your glue, John. You wanna do more of these kits? Or should I make my own kits? You should make. What, what would you wanna make? I think you should make. I think we should finish my project that I built a long time ago with you. Well, why don't we show people? What? Oh, this, what else? this is Hayden's woodworking project. And it's got some nails in here and she marked where she wanted the nails to go. And it's got some nails in here. She marked where she wanted those nails to go. And she used a hammer on those. She had me drill a hole here and we drew a drove a screw down through the top and she sanded all this walnut and there's a bolt through here and some screws and, and this is her little project, right? Yeah, this project is gonna be a birdhouse when it's done. We 
um, we actually did this a long time ago together when I was like three. When you were young. Yeah. Now you're almost five. When I was young, we did this project. We'll be back for the show, okay? We'll be back. <laughs> camera, you pretend that, um... Honey, you can't talk to a camera. Cameras don't have souls. Okay. All right, so you see all these little hinges? Mm -hmm. They all need to go on like that. And there's eight tiny screws, okay? And these are very poorly made. The key is for the wee little man, wee little man, we kind of the woman in the street, cause the boy he wanted to see. And the and Jesus said, the key is come down from that tree. Careful, you're gonna bust this baby. <clears throat> For, from going to your house to the Dang it. Try again, Daddy. I will try again, baby girl. If you if you give up I really should get some needle nose, but you should have small hands like me. If I had small hands like you, I'd be worried. I probably wouldn't be married to your mom if I had small hands. You would still be a grown-up. <laughs> I would barely be a grown-up. We haven't used one nail this whole thing. That's kind of disappointing. I think kids should have to nail something or something. What about you? Will you open that up to show where the strap, how the strap goes in and see if you can figure out how to, no, no, no. I mean the uh, instruction point. Find the spot where they show the strap going in, in the back. Mm hmm Do you see the strap? So the strap goes above that. The strap goes here. So see that little dot? Yeah. That's where the strap goes. Then there's another dot. And that's where the other part of the strap goes. Okay. Why? I love woodworking. Good girl. Now, when we go to Eastern Washington and we catch bugs, you can put them in this bug barn. Okay. And they love their new home, but when they need. But you don't you don't keep them in there forever. Yeah. You keep them in there for like a few hours so you can um, find out what they're like. Yeah. And watch them, and then you let them go so that they go make other bugs. So Hayden, hey, look. Look, yeah, it's done. What do you think? Do you like it? Yeah. Let's check the lock. Okay, flip that open. Open the door. <gasps> the lock works. Yeah, close the door. Yeah, that snapped on. I, I, I think what would have been better is if they put a little stop on there, so. Okay, Hayden, so what do you think? What, did you like it? Mm -hmm. Did you have fun? Yeah. Okay. There's your badge. Wow. You like it? Yeah, it's so beautiful. Cool. Bugs that are really big can't get through the holes. Yeah. Bugs that are really big, can't, they can't get through those holes. Yeah. We're, we're going to finish up now. We're going to tell people what we thought. So. This project was so cool and it's kind of heavy. Big bugs won't be able to get through these holes. The door works good, right? Yeah. Let me show you how the um, 
this part works. So this. You lift up the latch. This is the lock. So you lift it up and the door opens. So the latch is the lock. So when you close the door, make sure to snap the latch on yeah. so bugs don't get out. Yeah. Or you can get another ammo in here that's yeah. different and yeah. that will be able to fit for the door. Okay, so can I talk now? Yeah. Okay. Um, it was pretty easy, right? Was it pretty easy? Um, it came with everything we needed, um, except for the glue. It did, they did include some sandpaper, which we didn't use. So, um, overall, the quality of the kit is okay. Um, none of the cuts were misaligned. None of the pieces were broken. The screws were a little cheap, but for 16 bucks, it was pretty good. Um, obviously made in China, um, which I'm always disappointed in to see that. The instructions were really clear. When they label screws with the um, L1810 stuff, I don't, none of that makes sense to me. Um, they have a generic section up front in all of their, uh, all of their directions around safety, how to glue, how to saw, how to drill, how to screw. We didn't use any of that. The only tool we used was a screwdriver. Um, so this was a pretty basic kit. So the idea here would be you could actually buy this kit online and send it to a nephew. And if he had a screwdriver, he could put it together. Um, I don't think the glue is going to be too necessary. So that would be a good way to get, um, get, get somebody into woodworking with a very, very basic set of tools. Um, so overall, what do you think? Is this a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Thumbs up? High five? So we're going to do another show tomorrow. We are? Get, Get woodworking. Have fun woodworking in your shop, everybody. UppercutWoodworks.com